Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. Today we have another beer from Bell's. This is Bell's Consecrator Doppelbach. Doppelbach, excuse me. This has a, uh, Bell's does, um, at least for their uh, special releases, they do special bottle caps. This one has two, um, like, horned goats. And they have a, yeah, like two horned goats. So, I'm thinking that's what they are. Ooh. That smells like grape juice. I'm curious to see if there's any grape flavors. This is an interesting beer. Um, like, I'm, like I mentioned, it's a special release. And this is available, it's only put out in the month of February. And the release is timed with Fat Tuesday. So Fat Tuesday is the kickoff of Mardi Gras. So that's why it's available only the short time of the year. Decent head. This is the suggested um, glass style on, uh, on Bell's site. This is a Pilsner glass, a fluted Pilsner glass, Pilsner flute. I mean, call it a couple things. Usually lighter beers go in a glass like this, but um, we shall see. So, it has kind of a, um, has a little bit of a head. Oh man, it smells like grape juice. It smells like dark grape juice. So this beer definitely has that irony taste that I've mentioned that you get in some lagers and whatnot. And it, I guess in Doppelbach too, because in the, uh, and the Andy Gator that also had this same kind of same kind of flavor. Let's see what we got for specs on this. This is eight percent ABV. Uh, no IBUs listed. This definitely has a. Uh, this definitely tastes like at least eight percent. It's definitely an alcohol flavor. Based on the color, it definitely goes along with the flavor that there is a strong amount of maltiness. A caramely, um, definitely some caramely flavors coming through. Maybe maybe a hint of vanilla even. Uh, $15.99 a six pack, so not the cheapest, but it's a special release, it's from Bell's. That seems to be pretty much on par with, with what they do. It was a gorgeous Saturday afternoon here. Uh, weather's beautiful, it's mid 60s, not a cloud in the sky, just gorgeous. <clears throat> On the back of the bottle here, it says uh, brewed for a Fat Tuesday release. Consecrator is a traditional Doppelbach fermented in our house lager yeast. And I believe this is fermented for like three full months instead of just six weeks, so it's fermented for quite a while longer. Reddish brown in color, this lager is full bodied and well balanced. Hints of caramel and molasses can be found in smooth, malty finish. I don't know if I get so much molasses, but I definitely get the caramel. And I think when it's aged longer, that's a, called a lagering process, if I'm not mistaken. The, uh, the bottle's consistent with many Bell's type stuff. They kind of have, have weird weird little drawings, look maybe like a, like a pencil drawing or something like that on the, uh, on the bottle here. Everything from Bell's that I've tried have been impressed with. And this, that, I think this is a true to form Doppelbach. It's, uh, it's got the color, it's got the flavor. Got the smells. It's funny that I smelled, and it still kind of smells like grape juice, but there's not any grape flavor at all. But the initial flavor, the initial nose hit is definitely, smells like, um, I, 
I remember as a kid, we used to drink quite a bit of grape juice. I don't know why. I haven't had grape juice in a while. But that dark grape juice, you know, the stuff that would stain anything. Yeah. Great color, very clear. Just a great amber, um, coppery color. So I had done, I think when I did the uh, Andy Gator from Abita, I talked about what a Doppelbach is. And it's just a, it's a, it's a German style, it's an older German style of beer. And uh, I think the Doppelbach means double bock. And, um, I don't know, maybe if I got into home brewing a little more, some of that would uh, come into play. Through doing these episodes, I am able to pick out more of the flavors and based on the, the style of beer, which is kind of cool. It's kind of, um, sometimes I'll taste something and then go read a, a write-up on a beer or whatever and I'll have picked out the same things, and that, that that's kind of cool, I guess. Other times, people have all this elaborate tasting notes and whatnot that I'm nowhere near the same um, flavor profile. And I could blame that on a couple things. You could blame it on maybe something I ate earlier. Uh, sometimes your palate can become a little numb. Uh, I try not to, to try too many beers in a row. I, the one afternoon, I did three Abita beers in a row. But I did them in a succession that kind of made sense for the different types of beer and the amounts, uh, you know, how you go from light to dark when you taste multiple beers. So there's that. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. All right, let's rate this beer. I would give this a 3.75. It's a solid 3.75. It, it doesn't have... Uh, it's better than, like, just an average beer. Um, it's probably not something I would have more than one or two of. Uh, it's a medium uh, weight to it. A couple of these you'd probably start feeling full almost from it. Um, that, that being said, it's, it's, it's a refreshing... I mean, you know, when I think of a beer, you know, just like having a beer, I don't really think of a Bud Light or something like that. I usually think of like, like a red or an amber, like a, uh, or that coloring, I should say, almost like like a Sam Adams. I don't know why you kind of got a, a envisioning me you know, like when you're at the airport. Where they, there's almost it seems like Sam Adams owns the airport business. In any airport, you go in any bar, and there's some sort of Sam Adams special. Uh, good marketing, I guess, by the Sam Adams folks. Well, that was good. May do another one later this afternoon. we got a bunch of good stuff in the fridge coming up. got some Hop Slam from Bell's also. Um, there's more... Uh, Another six point beer. I think I got a. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we got in there. There's a bunch of stuff. There's there's, there's too many to, to keep on top of mind. So, until next time. Cheers. <laughs>